Hi there, it's Noah from Thrive. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I use ClickUp to manage our leads. You know, ClickUp is more than just a project management tool. You can use it to track all sorts of things. And the way it allows us to group our tasks means we can tell what return on investment is the best. These are 71 leads that have come into my company. For example, the lead source, like how they came to me, when the lead started, the various steps I've taken to take that lead through my, my process, including writing the proposal and reviewing it. If I've lost the client, I'll note why. Most of the time because we're either too expensive or frankly, they ghost on us that they have probably talking to 10 different agencies and they've chosen somebody else even before we get back to them. If I send them a LinkedIn request, I'll check this off here. If I put them in my, my email marketing system drip, I'll check that off. If I send them my clutch profile, same thing, I'll, I'll, I'll check that off. Whenever I provide them any kind of an estimate, I will write that number here and then I'll give them a grade based on how well their budget is, based on what they wanna do, how well they respect my process and how much their project is a fit for my company. When the lead closes, I put a date there and I actually put a note that if we are bidding against multiple agencies, I'll put a checkbox there as well. There's another note here for Ahoy. Ahoy is a product that I sell. It's a fixed product, $2.99 a month. So if they are a fit for that, I will mark that off. And let me show you some of the grouping options. So right now we're just doing it by date. But what if I wanted to see, show me all of the leads by source. This is gonna show a little bit how powerful this is. Right here I can see that 19 of these leads came online. Most likely they were just Google. And four came from Clutch. and five came from up city. Now I've been sponsoring with both of these companies for about five months. So this is not a good return on investment. I would say it's not enough leads from those two marketing channels for me to consider a good ROI. That being said, one of them did come from up city and she did convert and she's an ideal client grouping by lead source is really handy just to see the numbers, the, the, straight up numbers of how many leads I'm getting per channel. Another thing I look at when I group by my data is why we lost them. As I mentioned before, us being too expensive is a, a usual reason. That's 14 of those. Uh, five of them actually chose another company besides us. 15 of them ghosted. I'm not sure really what's going on there. I mean, they'll contact us with initial conversation. We'll send a nice reply and then nothing ever happens. Probably people are just kicking tires. Uh, five people we declined outright. They just were not a good match for us, etc. Now, how I'm usually looking at this data is actually grouping it by its status. Because in the day-to-day, -day, I'm moving clients between these different statuses, such as, am I writing them a proposal? Are we scheduled for a meeting? Am I waiting for them? Have I sent them the closed loop email, etc. That is how we use ClickUp as our lead generation management system. And we found a lot of success having it in the same tool we use to manage our projects and manage our support requests. I hope you found that useful. If you'd like to see other videos about ClickUp and other tools like it, please subscribe to my channel here at Thrive. Thanks.